I first heard about the St. Augustine's Lighthouse through my good friends Jason and Grant from TAPS, and they're featured every week on the Ghost Hunters TV show on Sci-Fi Channel. And they had been to the St. Augustine Lighthouse, and let me say right here that the paranormal community owes an amazing debt to both Jason and Grant and the entire TAPS team for all the amazing work they've done and for bringing these locations to our attention and also just for all the great things they've brought to the paranormal community. They've brought us out of the closet, so to speak, out from under the bed and into the light and we really owe them a lot for that and they do it with integrity and honor and I just love that about them. And uh, the lighthouse just happened to be one of the places, you know, they visited on their TV show. And uh, we went crazy about it. We were like, wow, this place is awesome. First of all, it's in my favorite state ever, which is Florida. And I love Florida in the wintertime. It's beautiful. It's warm. And uh, who could resist the idea of not only going to Florida, getting away from the winter, enjoying the sunshine for a few days, but also investigating this amazing location that, uh, you know, on the Ghost Hunters TV show, they showed us all this great evidence they'd captured plus all the personal experiences that TAPS had there, and plus other people I've talked to have told me about the lighthouse as well, and so we just had to do it. <laughs> well, when I got to the lighthouse, it, it just blew my mind. First of all, the staff there are just the most amazing, friendly, helpful people ever and I have to give a major mention to Faith who really took us in. I mean the thing was no one had ever attempted to do what we were doing other than TAPS no other group has ever been given kind of full run of the place for the night. They do tours there all the time. Uh, daytime tours and uh, dark of the moon tours or, or you know the, these nighttime tours that they do and those are great but no one had been given full reign of the lighthouse uh, like we were given and I want to thank her very much for that and for trusting me with uh, with that uh, incredible opportunity because we were able to get the place for the whole night it was ours I heard some amazing things about the history of the buildings I heard a lot of great ghost stories uh, people shared photos with me it was just amazing and I, I can't say enough good things about the staff and, and especially Faith from the uh, just the amazing St. Augustine Lighthouse I mean they were just great and I urge everyone to go down there and take a tour if you haven't. I know that the Night Watchers, we're going back. We're, we're heading back down there around Halloween time. We're going to enjoy the entire town. I mean, the whole town is really into the ghost thing. St. Augustine is all about their history. And uh, it's beautiful, first of all. It's unbelievable. Uh, you're not going to find a, a, a Wendy's or a, a Walmart or a McDonald's or a Target. It's exactly as it was. It's gorgeous there. and. It's like when the pirates were there, and I couldn't believe all these great pirate stories and, and all the great things that, that we experienced while we were there. And so we've got to go back, and we're going to kind of learn more about the town and explore more of it. And, of course, uh, spend a night at the lighthouse once again with our friends there. Here we are at the St. Augustine Lighthouse, right here in beautiful sunny Florida, with the Night Watchers. Now you could be here as well. All you have to do is sign up at www.nightwatchers.info, become a Night Watcher, check out the great investigations we're doing, and come down here to great places like this, the St. Augustine Lighthouse. We're going to be investigating this in just a couple of hours, all night. It's going to be amazing. We're going to find some great evidence, I hope, and uh, what, what more can you say? The Night Watchers rock. We also got a great photograph while we were there. Paula from Poltergeist Tower snapped this picture and it shows something. This is right in the area where all the weird things happened and the motion detector went off. There's a photo of something in the middle of the air in the light tower. Now understand there's no smoking in the light tower, there's no fog inside the light tower. I think it's a great picture and it kind of goes along with what Jason and Grant found in the lighthouse as well with their thermal imaging camera when they got that anomaly flying in between floors in the middle of the lighthouse. So honestly, I think the St. Augustine's Lighthouse investigation was a complete success. 
I mean, from all the EVP work, the photos, the video, the personal experiences, and uh, from what I've heard from other people who've been there and from my friends in TAPS, I definitely think that the place is haunted. And uh, it's just an amazing place anyway. I mean, the staff is incredible. They really know a lot about the place, and uh, they tell you these stories about the things they've experienced, and you can see it in their eyes that this stuff happens there all the time, and it's just exciting. I just recently, after I got back from the trip, got a chance to uh, check out the second investigation that the Ghost Hunters, or TAPS, did in the lighthouse, and they got the same thing. So there's two different groups that had not talked to each other yet, they got the same kind of evidence. And upon, you know, seeing their evidence and hearing it, it was pretty exciting for me because I was like, wow, they got the same thing we got, and it's substantial. I mean, these, these voices are there. We had no children on the investigation at all. So the fact that there's these adults talking, and all of a sudden you hear an echoey child's voice, that was pretty weird too. And the weirdest thing was, uh, the voices were coming from no particular area. So I s snuck on up to the top, still hearing the voices, Knowing that the people at the bottom weren't talking at all, the people at the top weren't talking at all either, and that was pretty interesting to me because uh, other people have reported the same thing. It sounds, you could be in there by yourself and it sounds like there's someone talking in there. I thought that was pretty cool.